Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Ford XR Studio. I'm Christy Lee, host of Motor Trends Garage Squad and your host for this very awesome SEMA special from Ford. We can't be in Vegas at SEMA, so we cooked up something a little different. A live exclusive Q&A session for our would-be SEMA attendees and Bronco reservation holders. So get ready, y'all. It's Bronco sport time. In 1966, Ford was the first American brand to add sports to utility vehicle as a way to describe the off-road capability, the super easy modularity, and the ready for the wild attitude that was the original Bronco. Fast forward more than 50 years and there's a new Bronco family. That includes this Bronco Sport SUV that I'm gonna introduce you to today. After which we'll have answers to all of your burning questions about how you can gear up for your next adventure in a forum like you've never seen before. This custom build is an example of how you can upfit your Bronco Sport to make it your own personal adventure machine. And I'll be joined by some very special guests to talk about this build, but before we meet them, let's meet the beast itself. Check out the upright windshield and simple body side. The iconic front end has a one-piece grille, two round headlamps with the name bar in between, a separate bumper with front tow hooks, and steel bash plates. The old school Bronco DNA is blended with available modern tech like LED headlamps and an available class exclusive front 180 degree trail camera. Every Bronco Sport comes with plenty of ground clearance and a standard 4x4 powertrain. Whatever your next adventure, Bronco Sport can get you there. Inside, there's plenty of room for all your gear thanks to this safari style roof. This model has been equipped to handle up to 150 pounds of gear up top. As you can see, it's pretty loaded down. <laughs> Inside, you can fit two standing bikes, or in the case of this build, a 47 quart refrigerator and all your gear, which should be plenty. The base model Bronco Sport packs all the essentials, but there are four other trims tailored to different types of adventures. There's the Big Bend, Outer Banks, the sold out first edition, this Badlands trim is the most off-road capable. Badlands starts with a best-in-class 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine that cranks out 250 horsepower with 277 foot-pounds of torque mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. The advanced 4x4 system has a twin-clutch rear drive unit that automatically sends torque to the rear wheel that needs it. If you get into some serious mutter muck, there's even a locking rear differential feature. The available 180-degree front camera lets you get a wide-angle view of the trail ahead on the standard 8-inch touchscreen. The Bronco Sport Badlands features class-exclusive trail control, which is like off-road cruise control. So you can just set your speed and focus on steering and avoiding obstacles. Pretty nice. Now that I've given you a quick overview of the capable Bronco Sport Badlands that was the starting point for this awesome off-road build, let's get into the engineering details. Today I'll be joined by Mad Industries Mad Scientist Chris Mangum and Ford's very own Eddie Kahn and Jason Hyde to take you through this very special SEMA exclusive Bronco Sport and to answer your most pressing questions about this rugged newcomer. Chris, Eddie, Jason, guys, welcome to the Ford XR studio. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, we're excited here. to be here. Okay, Chris, let's dig right into this because I know there's going to be a lot of questions and we want to make sure to have time to get to them. So tell us about this awesome creation right here. Well, we wanted to take the Bronco Sport SUV to an awesome capabilities. The flex that create the hardcore overlanding dispersed camping experience. You can obviously drive this thing around, but you can also take it for the weekend and you can go off and do some great camping. The great thing about this build is it uses so many Ford licensed accessories. So you can buy this gear yourself and make this Bronco Sport your own. What are some of the key features of this build in particular? Because it's not a huge departure from the Bronco, but it's also very customized. It is. I mean, starting from the ground up, you got the BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires. And then you got the 1552 Traverse MX wheels. Looks great. Then you got the air design fender flares. And then you go up to the camping with the Yakima lock and load. Now, you can gear this up for so much. You start with the Huey Man shovel. ARB recovery boards, and you got a dagger kayak. So it just, it can take you out and do whatever you want. And then we have the Boreas 17 foot MXT all-terrain camper. Now this thing can go anywhere. It just takes it to a new level. 
let's make no mistake at all. This build can pretty much take you anywhere you want to go, acting as a gear hauler, base camp, and the only outdoor accommodation you'll pretty much ever need. And these guys actually road trail tested this project feel out in the wild uh, and documented some of their builds. So let's take a closer look at this vehicle in its natural habitat. So my name is Chris with Mad Industries. I've been building project vehicles since I was a kid, having a good time doing it. Our brief for the build was to take our concept and then utilize Ford accessories, Ford partners, and wanted something that was targeted for gearing up and doing things. Yeah, I mean, three weeks, it's a challenge, but you know, it's fun. That looks good. Perfect for that vehicle. They want a little bit higher vehicle off the ground, so we worked to get it lifted up. The logo was white, but we decided to get these custom painted to match the Area 51 color. The challenges are just time. You got to have that mindset that you're going to get it done no matter what and not panic. All right, you guys, let's put all the gear on them since we're a uh, day away from being done. I really like these Yakima clips. No movement once they're locked in, so no worries. Nice. All comes down to this. Killed it. Good job, guys. Three weeks. Let's get out of here. Well, we're out here in Sedona, Arizona, taking the uh, Bronco Sport out today to put it through some paces and just enjoy this epic scenery. Incredible how this Bronco Sport is taking this trail. Good to see you, Kyle. Hey, Rachel. What's going on? Hi, how are you? Good. Thanks for coming out to check out the new Bronco Sport. Awesome. I love the color. I love how they match the interior. You got like a cooler in the back? Full on Air B, zero fridge in the back. Got the slim shady Yakima on the side. Oh, yeah, that thing is clutch when it's hot out. You know, with the mountain bikers like you guys, you're kayakers, hikers, it's just a big demographic target for this vehicle. Come on, babe, let's go. That was rad. Pretty gnarly back there. This thing did not even get scared once. So guys, before we take questions from the audience, let's talk about the Bronco Sport capabilities. Jason, can you just tell us a little bit more about how far you can go with the Bronco Sport? Sure. Well, we didn't just want to bring back the Bronco, so we returned with a family of capable off-road 4x4 vehicles. The Bronco Sport helps you gear up and get ready for any journey out in the great outdoors, and that's truly what we wanted to achieve with the Bronco Sport as well. Eddie, what was the greatest challenge your team faced as you developed and built the Bronco Sport? Uh, Chris, we had a lot of fun developing this vehicle. It was, uh, I had a very young team, and we were very excited. Uh, I think one of the biggest challenges that we face is incorporating the Twin Mac RDU clutch into the system and how it will work as a total complete system integrated to deliver a dynamic torque uh, capability of the vehicle. And the whole idea for us, and I, that's the challenge that I put out for my team, is that anybody who will drive this thing on a sand will come out with a big smile on his face. And we wanted to see if we can deliver that. I love that you're smiling now as you yes. talk about that too. Like exactly. the Bronco Sport brings on all of the smiles. Absolutely. <laughs> and yes. he nailed it. It's so much fun to drive. So all of you watching may think this Mad Industries Bronco Sport is a one of a kind, right? Well, think again. Just scan the QR code that is now displaying at the bottom of the screen to check out all of the Ford products and accessories that went into it so you can customize your Bronco Sport your way. Well, we've got more in store for you here on Ford Auto Nights SEMA Show Special during the exclusive Q&A session. So I've got some questions coming in here if you guys Think maybe you're ready? <laughs> Feeling good about it? Bring them on. All right, so the first question comes from Tyler S. And this says, when and where can we get accessories for the Bronco Sport when I pick mine up from the dealer? Yeah, sure, great question. So um, the dealer is exactly where you can look to pick up a lot of those accessories and certainly when you're building them out um, on the website too. Um, but we've got over 100 factory backed accessories available for the Bronco Sport itself. Um, so take a look at the website, a lot of products like what Chris had mentioned um, coming from Yakima where we have, you know, truly tailored this vehicle to all the adventures that you can possibly take it out there and, uh, and get after. So um, definitely start with the dealer and uh, they'll be happy to help you out with any questions you might have in terms of accessories. All right. And speaking of dealerships, Maggie M would like to know, when will I start to see Bronco Sports in dealerships? 
Yeah, it's coming up quick, actually. So uh, great news. You'll start to see Bronco Sports hitting dealerships mid-December, I'd say. Um, they'll be um, hitting dealership lots and um, being out on the road very soon. So stay tuned. Uh, Melissa Y would like to know, what's the largest size mountain bike that you can get inside the carrier? It's a very specific question. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I can. Um, yeah, we, when we were designing the interior of the vehicle, we wanted to make sure you can put at least two 27 inch, 27 and a half inch mountain bikes, but also you can fit a 29. You may have to adjust the seat, uh, but uh, with the front wheel off, we will be offering an accessory, which will be uh, securing the front fork of the mountain bike into the vehicle, and you can easily put your entire bike inside the vehicle. If you, you can do a easily two 27 and a half and can do one 29 inch. I've got a nice bike. If I'm gonna, you know, do some damage to the mountain bike, I want it to be on the trails, not in the bed of the truck. Exactly. So it's nice to know it can be tucked away safely and comfortably. Exactly. Exactly. And not only that, Chris, you, uh, the flooring is all rubberized. So if you have a dirty bike, you know, you don't have to worry about putting it on your car vehicle with a carpeted floor or anything. It's, you can wash it off. You can clean it off when you take it home when you take the bike off. So you could put a muddy bike in there without worrying about cleaning it also. So we thought about all these little things as the customers are going through this. And as Jason indicated, what were their pain points or uh, to the point that it has a, every vehicle has a flip glass. So you can open the flip glass and toss your helmet if you forgot to put it back and you don't have to open the hatch again every time. Tom K said, what, what are some of your like coolest features or features that you like the most on the inside of the Bronco Sport? Yeah, I mean, to Eddie's point, you know, with the, the lift glass being back on the Bronco Sport, there's a really unique feature available. Um, it's called the cargo management system. So it's a tray table that slides out into five different positions, one of which is my favorite. It actually comes out into a pull-out table. So we really treat this vehicle as kind of is your base camp, um, you know, your little bit of a locker room essentially when you're getting ready to hit the trails. And the fact that you can actually stow your gear, get ready, get organized either before you hit the trails or when you get back, um, that's one of my favorite features. Um, in addition, there's there's stowable um, storage underneath the seats in the back of the Badlands model. So that's just another one where Huge. you know our engineers and designers have spent a lot of time thinking about just the utility of the vehicle and where they can put all the gear that I, we know our customers are going to have when they when they go out and hit the trails. Yep. Eddie, what about you? Some interior features that really stand out. Well, there's one uh, as an engineer for me, the goat most is is what really excites me because we engineered it to give the most optimal performance on the various terrains, so the vehicle go anywhere on all type of terrains, that's what the GOAT stands for. Um, and we had a really, really fun tuning it um, to make sure that the, the performance is most optimal. But my favorite that often people overlook is the bottle opener. It is right there, right? You open the hatch, it's right there, and, and that's your tailgate central, right? You pull out the table, and you have the bottle opener, and uh, that's where you have fun, you know, with the floodlights on. But I got to tell you, I spent a day in this vehicle. I didn't want to get out of it. It was so comfortable and it was so much fun to drive. So a lot of room inside. Um, T wants to know what do, what was done to lift the Bronco Sport project build shown on this video. So what can you elaborate a little bit? Yeah, on yeah. That? So uh, four wheel parts came up and designed the uh, the level lift. So it's a spacer similar to what you'll see in some other um, full size trucks that goes into the housing. So front and back's the same. So it's pretty straightforward. You can do it at home, you know, so it's, it's uh, that's it. What is the largest tire that can fit on the Badlands without a lift kit? Yeah, uh, we were able to fit a, 20, a 235 tires, which is about uh, 29 and a half inch OD. Um, that's the biggest tires available on the market uh, that you can get it. Um, and it comes in the vehicle too. And those are optional Falcon Wild Peaks um, available on Badlands. And we've got a really cool steel wheel available as well to complement it. Um, but to Eddie's point, yeah, it's a, it's a great tire. Yep. All right. This one's from Cali M. Is there a four-wheel drive on all series? Yes, there is. Yeah, that's a great question. It's one of the beautiful things about Bronco Sport. You know, every series model comes standard with 4x4. Four four, and that's truly what makes uh, this a built wild vehicle. Uh, speaking of built wild, you want to get out and get out in the environment. Uh, Nate K would like to know, were Bronco and the Bronco Sport tested in the same kind of environments? Yes, uh, we, we tested them in the same environment. Actually, 
the two teams worked together. Sometimes it was a healthy tension, we always call it. <laughs> Sometimes it was a lot of fun. Uh, but we were in Johnson's Valley. Uh, primarily, we used um, the vehicle to test in a very grueling temperature, in a very hot weather, in the very um, various terrains that Johnson's Valley offer. Beside that, we were in Borrego, California, another very um, difficult terrain and unique terrain. Um, uh, beside that, we were in numerous uh, areas a, a part of the country along with our proving grounds at uh, Michigan and Arizona. So, so yes, we've been testing them both along the same, same places. Uh, okay. And there are also some sweet footage out there from Bronco Nation that has uh, the Broncos Sport Badlands stock climbing up Hell's Revenge in Moab. Exactly, that was, that was in incredible. a Moab. Uh, yeah. And uh, we were out there and uh, it wasn't <laughs> planned. <laughs> and uh, we said, you know, if a big Bronco is doing it, so why not? We might as well the little guy try it too. Yeah, rock. And, and uh, it was uh, fascinating, you know, the way the car did it. And uh, yes, we were very happy. What's it like to pull a trailer with the Bronco Sport and how much do you really feel the movement with that? Well, I drove it for a day with the trailer on it. So down fire roads, down some really pretty incredible terrain. And I was just blown away. I did not feel this trailer behind it at all. I mean, a couple times I was taking turns, and I was like, oh no, there's a trailer behind me. So it was incredible. We designed the Bronco Sports, uh, the two liter uh, vehicle, we designed especially to tow up to 2,200 pounds of a trailer. And the 1.5 actually tows um, 2,000 pounds of trailer. So we had the customer in mind. We know that they do tow, they would like to go out, and often they go out with the trailer. So we had that in mind when we were designing it and tuning the vehicle to make sure it could go there. And with the turbo engine, you have all that low end torque much earlier at the lower RPM. It really, really helps you tow um, the vehicle yeah. and not feel it. Um, and I think the nice thing about the two liter that it's also come with a pedal shifter. So you can select your gears um, as, yep. you, as you are pulling the trailer also. What about you guys? I mean, you've obviously interacted quite a bit with Chris and with the Bronco Sport. What are your favorite components of this build in particular? I personally, yeah, one of the things that's just so notable in the, in the interior is just the carabiner hooks, the molly strap systems in the back of the seats. I mean, if you're going out for a weekend adventure, there's truly a ton of places to put all the gear that you're going to end up bringing with you. How about the installation on this rigid, S, uh, rigid SRS light bar? How did, how did that go for you? It went really well. I mean, the system with the Yakima lock and load in their own lighten up brackets, it's really straightforward and just the wiring is getting it into the cab, but you know, it's an hour project for sure. And again, you can do it at home. Yeah. What was the inspiration to put the refrigerator in the back too? Just that whole like get out on the road and don't worry about coming back type of experience? Yeah, I'm one of those guys when I'm always driving a vehicle, I like having a drink in the vehicle that's cold. So, I mean, the refrigerator is a home run. Yeah, and, and we have an inverter which is a powers up to 400 watts. So all he did is just plugged into the, straight into the socket in the back of the vehicle and Definitely. the refrigerator runs it on the electrical loads of the vehicle. It's, it's, it's not powered by separate Yeah, you don't install device. anything else. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's important to know. I mean, is a big fridge like that actually going to tap this, this vehicle out? Or? No, no. Okay. so we, we designed it with that in mind when the vehicle is running and you're out there driving. You can, you can make a coffee in the back of it if you would like to. Okay, yeah. you hear that? Refrigerator yes. and espresso machine. Yes. With your glass bottled so sodas, of exactly. course. Exactly. We actually, yeah. <laughs> we had to charge up one of our drones during a photo shoot, actually. And so thankfully we had uh, the, the 400 watt power inverter in the back yep. to do that. Well, is there anything else that you guys want to share with the viewers that are tuning in right now that really stand out with not only this custom build, but just the Bronco Sport in general? Well, I'll tell you, I mean, honestly, when I got the vehicle, it, it was, you know, just building something that's never been touched and it's turned out so well and the accessories for it are just incredible. So it gave us such a, like a, a canvas to work on that I think that everybody's gonna really enjoy that they can get these parts from their Ford accessories and just and get out on the road right away and enjoy it because it was a blast off-road. I'll, I'll add on to that, you know, if you're an expert off-roader or a complete novice, you know, this thing has the, the capability and the tech to get you out on the trails and feel confident um, and to the point of like having things like front facing cameras under 180 degrees of, of visibility up front, things like that where you know what you're approaching. I think that just goes and speaks volumes in, in terms of what kind of confidence you can get um, with driving something like the Bronco Sport. When can we see the first edition? 
Well, if you've ordered one, uh, you should be getting information uh, in your inbox in terms of the build uh, timing and uh, when it's expected, but uh, would expect to see that uh, very early here in, uh, in next month, yep. December. All right, and yep. Bernadine R. would like to know when will it be in dealership so I can test drive it? I think that'll be, that'll be at about that time, about mid-December, we expect them uh, to be at the dealership. So definitely you should plan for one. Eddie, before you kind of mentioned the GOAT mode that really stood yeah. out to you, what's the best GOAT mode for the Bronco Sport? That question comes from Robin B. Uh, for me, the most fun is a sand mode. Um, the vehicle, the way it moves on the sand, it, it, it feels very stable, very directional with, with respect to when you turn the wheel, it listens to you and, and drives really like a real wheel drive sometimes. And, and you would think that you have a real wheel drive car on a track, but um, we, we provided all the tuning within that in mind that you can turn faster, you can go faster on the sand and be doing that comfortably with all the underbody protection that we have in the vehicle and the robustness from the cooling system. We have uh, four, uh, three different coolers in this vehicle. So it provides you enough robustness in the hot weather. And also if you run into something where you're not supposed to be, it will protect you all the vital components under the body. And, and it's just a hood on the sand. All right, guys, these have been absolutely great questions, but that is unfortunately going to wrap up our Bronco Sport Q&A session brought to you live from the Ford XR studio. You've been watching the daytime edition of Ford Auto Nights SEMA show special. Thanks to everyone who tuned in and participated today. Of course, thank you for all your questions. And the biggest thanks to you guys. It was so great having you here in the Ford XR studio. <laughs> if you want to know even more about the project build, we just checked out today. Just scan the QR code that is now displaying at the bottom of the screen. Whether you like your vehicle's factory fresh or fully customized, we can't wait to see all of you on the road in your all new 2021 Bronco Sport SUV as you gear up for your next adventure. I'm Christy Lee from the Ford XR studio. See you guys next time.